What's the quickest and easiest way to refresh a room? That's the question we get asked at House and Home a lot, and the answer is always paint. I'm going to show you how a little paint can make all the difference. We set up this dining room in studio with a simple white wall. It's nice, but it really lacks a punch. I'll show you how color can take it to the next level. I often look to art when choosing color palettes and just for inspiration. I fell in love with this hand-painted piece and thought I could pull two colors to create two very different looks in this space. The first color I'd like to try is a green-gray-blue that kind of pulls from these shades of the painting. This one right here is perfect. It's called Well Water by Seiko. The next color I'd like to try pulls from the majority of the ground of the painting. This one here by Seiko is called Etruscan Villa. I really love this color and can't wait to see it on the wall. When choosing a color based on a painting, you can either choose a less dominant color like the blue-gray-green shade or a more dominant color like this orangey-pink color. Each will create a very different look. I'm excited to see how they turn out. I wanted to try Seiko's new Muse collection because it comes in a paint and primer combination and it's very durable. There are two choices of finish. I chose the soft matte for this one, but there's also a soft gloss. This paint is going on really well. For a dark color, the coverage over this white wall is great. The first color is up and I really love it. We're gonna bring back all the furniture and layer up the space with some accessories. The first look is done and I'm really happy with it. The wall color looks fantastic and I really love how it's playing against these corally accents. When it came to decorating this space, I knew I wanted it to be pretty, so I started with this beautiful silk tablecloth. Now the idea of a tablecloth might be a bit of a throwback, but I just love the lushness that it brings and the almost draping that is happening when it hits the floor. You could do this at home with any leftover piece of fabric and it doesn't even need to be cut because you're just tucking it underneath. I wanted to style the tabletop less like a dining room and more like a study, so I've layered in books and interesting objects. The black dining chairs really ground this look, and it's also reflected in the light. I've added these pretty little shades to the chandelier with a gold leaf detail to really finish it off. The painting has been hung off-centered, so it looks a little more interesting, and I love how the color that we've chosen really pops now. But at the same time, the painting really stands out because it is such a contrast to the wall color. What I love about this wall color is it's a shade that you can't quite put your finger on. It's not quite green, it's not quite blue, there's lots of grey undertones, it's very livable, and because of that it also feels quite sophisticated. So that's a wrap on this wall colour and we're ready to start the next one. Because this is a paint and primer in one, it's covering really, really well. We've got our second colour on the wall and I love it just as much. It's a Truscan Villa by Seiko. It's an earthy, orangey, pinky, corally shade, and it works beautifully with this blonde wood hardwood floor. Just like our last look, I'm going to bring back the furniture, add a few accessories, and really finish off this space. I'm really happy with the way this second look has turned out. It's been energized by color. This shade is by Seiko, and it's called Etruscan Villa. The matte finish is perfect and so durable, you can touch it and there's no fingerprints. This look is a lot warmer than the last one and has a global influence to it. The only thing that's really changed are the dining chairs. I brought in these rushed seat mid-century pieces that work so well with the wall color and all of the other things that are happening in the space. We've also added this beautiful striped jury rug to really ground the space. In this look, the painting is more recessive because the wall color and the painting create a more monochromatic scheme. It's still beautiful, but it's just a little more subtle. What really pops in this look are the hits of white. We've removed the shades from the chandelier and left these vanity bulbs exposed. They're quite simple, but also really striking. The white is then repeated with an oversized resin bowl. Like the last shade, this color is successful because it's so multifaceted. It's not quite pink, it's not quite orange, it has an earthiness to it as well. It just makes it very warm, rich, and really inviting. This was a great experiment to really try out two colors that I really do love, but for different reasons. One is cool, one is warm, one's a bit more romantic, and one is kind of globally inspired. Both of them quite successful though. The lesson here is just how easy it is to transform a space with paint. And it's an easy change to make when new inspiration hits.